Our countdown underway, match 44 has begun. Interesting moves by the Red Alliance. All three robots racing into the trenches and rendezvous points before going to the initiation line power cells. That's not something we've seen, but it looks like a good move for the Red Alliance. The Blue Alliance now not able to go to the trenches and rendezvous points to grab power cells of their own. Ultimately, that gave the Red Alliance the lead coming out of the Autonomous period. It looks like Blue was able to get some inner port scores, so it is a pretty close match between the two. Two minutes remaining and we're starting to see the robots racing back to loading zones to grab hold of more power cells. T and Tony and Terminator both at the initiation line firing for the Blue Alliance. Matt L coming in with a well-timed hit. Terminator and T and Tony work together to push Matt L away and are now pushing them clear through the shield generator back towards the Red Alliance initiation line. That sustained contact did lead to a respawn for Matt L, which means a penalty being assessed on the Red Alliance. Fewer than 90 seconds to go. Jay Blay and Jason on the line for the Red Alliance firing. Jason doing a very good job with their aim. It looks like several of their power cells going into the inner port for three points apiece. Looks like Matt now hoping to do the same for the Red Alliance. Their aim is true. Several of their power cells making it into the inner port as well. Terminator and T and Tony for the blue lines getting ready to fire. Matt L trying to come in and rain on their parade. Matt L pushed out of the way, but Matt L doing what he needs to do for the Red Alliance. They're slowing down blue and preventing them from scoring and closing the gap further. 40 seconds to go. Red Alliance in the lead, both in points and in score power cells. That's what they need at this point in the game. It's not enough to win. They need the bonus ranking points if they're going to change their positions before the Alliance selection. End game period underway. Red Alliance very close to hitting the 90 power cell target for a bonus ranking point. And it looks like they have now hit that thanks to the efforts of Jason4099, who's now racing to the rendezvous point. 10 seconds to go, robots beginning to make their climbs. All six robots in position. We're seeing the first few robots begin to pull themselves up. Jason4099 looks like they may have fallen off, but got right back on before the end of the match. It appears only the Red Alliance may have been able to get enough points to get the end game ranking point. But that is not true. Final result, 324 points for the victorious Red Alliance, 309 for Blue. But we're seeing some interesting ranking point splits here in our scores. Red Alliance with 92 scored power cells and the bonus ranking point that comes with that, but not enough for the endgame ranking point. Over on the Blue Alliance, not going home empty-handed, they do score 75 points during the endgame with the Shield Generator operational ranking point. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.